Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is the Vikings Garage. So I got a question for you guys. How many of you have a little bit of trouble sometimes falling asleep and find yourself browsing on, uh, you know, some of these shopping sites like eBay, perhaps Amazon. And next thing you know, one thing leads to another and you're bidding on stuff you don't even need. Well, that's kind of what happened to me the other day. So next thing I know, one thing leads to another. I make an offer and lo and behold, I wake up to see that the guy accepted my offer. Now, you guys are probably wondering, what are you talking about, man? Well, I've been looking at a set of TRD Pro suspension, basically. Rear shocks and front uh, struts, complete struts, for the longest time. And this particular day, I saw the price and I said to myself, eh, let me make an offer. What's the worst that's going to happen? Well, he accepted the offer. That's what happened. And guess what? Now I had to buy it. So guys, stick around. I think by the end of the video, there's definitely two questions that will be answered with this video. One, should you spend the money and buy a complete TRD Pro suspension? And two, should you be up late at night shopping? What do you guys think? I don't know how scientific this is going to be, but here goes nothing. Let's start with the front, right at the center, there. We are measuring just below 35. Yep, just below 35. Now, if we go center line to the fender, that's about 20 inches. As far as the rear, again, that's a roughly 37 and a quarter. And then this would be 22. So, stock height, actually uh, TRD off-road, rear shocks and front struts, nothing fancy, let's see what happens. So before things get crazy, I want to show you guys the old setup. You know, nothing uh, fancy to see here. And uh, yeah, this is what we're gonna get in there. So I'll take a show you guys some progress here out with the old. It's crazy how these things are only a year old and they're already showing rust in there. And in with the new. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get cracking. As a side note, guys, inside each kit for the rear shocks, you'll find this uh, mesh hose with these two clamps. If you are wondering where that's supposed to go, for your parking brake so that the parking brake doesn't rub against your shot the more you know one down another one to go so we're gonna go from that to that so when everything's said and done it should look a little something like this in the front and like this in the back. Let's see how it rides.
there is no residue. Well, that's a good thing. Or is there? Nah, this is not. Nothing to be concerned with. It's good. It's good. In with the new. It's actually the most mileage I ever put in the same filter. That's about 7,500 miles with M's oil. Looks good to me. Hey right, guys, so I just finished installing the suspension on the car and uh, I said to myself, you know what? Why don't I just give them a first impression of uh, what I think of the suspension? I know it's a little too early to be reviewing it, but I want to at least capture what my impression is of this firsthand with you guys. I'm going to share it with you guys. Right. Let's see. Wow. Feels, uh, feels stiff. Let's see. I mean, wow. Track straight. Yeah, I didn't align it. The shop was a bit uh, busy today, so I'm gonna leave that for most likely tomorrow or the day after. You should always do your alignment. But so far, I gotta be honest with you, I can already tell that it's firmer. You know, like you, it's almost like a pair of shoes and you got those comfortable gym shoes that um, are a little more forgiving. They got more cushion to it. And then, and then you got those shoes that you uh, used to go out and they're like a hard bottom. This feels kind of like those uh, dress up shoes. It feels hard for sure. Obviously the ultimate test guys would be to take it off roading, but uh, we will get there. We will definitely get there. But yes, by all means, first impressions definitely feels very stiff. Not as much of a, you know, travel up and down. It's more of a one and done kind of thing, if that makes any sense. So, after Dirty Pro, what do we got here? So that's 35 and a quarter. And roughly 20 and a half. Now for the rear. I think it's not helping. Thirty-seven and a half, and now on the center line, that's about twenty-two and a quarter. Well, there you go, guys. So, as far as the right feel, I definitely feel a difference. I feel a bit of a stiffness going on. It seems to be a lot harder, especially over pumps. As far as, um, is this a lift kit? No, by no means. I hope this video just proved to you guys that it's not a lift kit. This is not for lifting purposes, if anything, is to make me feel uh, much better about my ride. Every time I lift it up to change the oil, I'll be staring at those beautiful Fox Racing struts. That's it. That's all it's for. But hey, you know what they say, man. Every inch counts or half inch. You know what I mean. Listen, man, you got to be above average, right? And on that shocking conclusion, <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next one. So recently I've been trying to upgrade my equipment and I got myself a little, uh, this actually looks like a little mouse, a little mouse. Anyways, uh, anybody know where I can find something that I can attach this to my phone? You know, instead of uh, getting up to the person close and personal. You know what I mean. If you do, drop me a comment down below. I know I'm acting silly.